This is the difference between the command window working in the command window and working in the M5. So now let's move forward and let's see what more tools we have got. So another tool we have got is the new live script. It is similar to the new script but in the live new script we can execute each line step by step like before in the new script we have written all the lines then we have executed that program but in the live new script we can execute each line step by step so let's see how to do i select the live new script and it creates the file with the extension mlx so let's see how to do now i type the similar codes now i will write the similar lines which i have written in the new script so a equal to 5 b equal to 10 and c equal to a plus b now you can see on the top we have got two options one is step and another one is run like in the new script so the run executes the all the three lines but step will run each line step by step so first i run this step so you can see it has executed the first line now i will run the next step now you can see we have got the result instant result I will run the next line and it has printed the second line in the result and now the final the last line c equal to 15 so this is the difference between the new script and live new script so I hope you have understood that the live new script we can easily run each line step by step so now let's move forward and the other option we have got is the new and it has similar option script live script functions which we will discuss in this course also and the live function is also available and here we have got the class we can create different classes and we will assign different variables in it and here we have got in figure we will get different graphs and here we have the app option to use different apps which are installed in your software and the last one here we have got the single link which we will discuss in depth in this course so i hope you will enjoy this course also because we are covering almost every topic in this course so the next option we have got is the open option to open the recent files that you have saved in your computer and uh, find files compare import data from different files saving the workspace that is this one you can save your variables that you have introduced and here you can create your own new variable open a variable clear workspace and uh, here we have different run and time different simple tools that we can use in this software here we have got the simulink simulink is a very vast topic that we are going to discuss in this course and here we have got the layout in layout you can change the different size or different you can introduce different windows on your screen so here by default it is set to this layout and you can also select three columns here you can see the workspace is placed on the right and uh, here we have got all but command window minimized here you can see this is the layout and command window only so I recommend you to select the default and more options we have got you can see we can show or hide different tabs different screens like current folder this is the current folder we can show or hide this current folder the workspace is this one the panel titles the panel titles are this command window current folder workspace 
and the tool strip this is the tool strip this hole is a tool strip here we have got the command history command history is by default set to pop up but you can also select it to dock like this the command history is showing all the commands that you have recently used in the command window so you can easily see that what commands you have used in your program and there are different other options you can use so here you can see we have got the add-ons add-ons is a very useful tool in this MATLAB you can add different libraries in your software for simulating almost most most of the things you can simulate like you can download the library for the Arduino or Raspberry Pi or different libraries you can download for different modules so this is a very useful tool in the MATLAB so here we have covered the most of the things in the home section now in the plots you can select different graphs available for the code you have written you can select any graph and plot it for the re representation of your data here in the app we have got different tools that you have installed during the installation of your MATLAB like when I was installing this MATLAB I have selected the tools different plugins I have installed for the signal analyzer antenna and you can even install more there are plenty of different plugins available during the installation of your MATLAB so you can easily download it for your projects so that was all the introduction about the environment of the MATLAB so I hope you have understood and thanks for watching and see you in the next video